Hi, this is the continuation of the constipation series. This will be our final video. And in this video, I'm specifically talking about the clean out phase and the maintenance phase. So if you haven't watched my other videos, I suggest watching those first and then end on this one. So um, a little bit more details here. So the clean out phase, which I talked about um, at the previous video, is very important. Um, this is what actually cleans out the bowel, gets rid of all the backed up poop in there, and flushes it out of the system. So I recommend to do this on the weekend. Um, typically when your child is home from school, it may take a few weekends to complete this. Um, this will be something you talk to your doctor about. But my favorite is Miralax. Out of all the medications I discussed previously, Miralax is my favorite. And it works by increasing the flow of water into the colon. So basically it is sucking water into the colon, making the stools much softer and easier to pass. There's no flavor to the Miralax powder that you would give them. Um, it's very effective too. So uh, with experience, what I've seen, it's best to mix the Miralax powder with room temperature liquid versus mixing it with a cold liquid. It seems to mix a little bit better. You can always put some ice cubes in it um, once it's mixed to make it cold so the kids can drink it a little easier. So um, the bulk of this video though I'm gonna talk right now is the maintenance phase. So once you get kids cleaned out, the maintenance phase is extremely important. So this is what prevents them from getting constipated again and you're not dealing with this vicious cycle. So the maintenance phase, very important. Once, um, once they are cleaned out, this maintenance phase allows time for the rectum and the intestines to really shrink back down to their normal size um, because they've been so stretched out. Sometimes you can lose that poop sensation, which I've talked about in the past. So we really need to allow the body time to heal. So there are three parts to this. Number one is medications, which sometimes need to continue. Um, we would do Miralax, but we do it in a much smaller dose. Um, again, it's my number one choice. We don't do the large dose like we would do for a clean out. Again, it's a smaller dose. The goal is one to two soft poops per day. Um, your doctor will help you titrate that dose. We can play around with this a lot. I mean, we can do one cap full a day, two caps a day. We can do a quarter cap full or a quarter teaspoon every other day. We really can fine tune Miralax um, to work best for your child to get that goal um, poop one to two times per day. You also might only need this for a couple months and then we can be done with it. So it just depends and you'll have to talk with your doctor about it to make a good plan for your child. Um, Number two, uh, the second part of this is your diet and fiber. So increasing water and increasing fiber in your child's diet are both equally important. You don't want to just add fiber and not take water. Um, so fiber can like help bulk up the poops and make more poop basically in a way, like make it move. But if you're not taking water with that, then you can actually end up getting more constipated. So you want to do um, a healthy amount of fiber and water, uh, which your doctor will talk to you about. There is a powder formulation of um, fiber. It's called Benefiber, which does seem to work well when trying to dissolve it in a water or a juice to make it more palatable for kids. Um, older kids obviously can just take like some kind of fiber pill or a chew type thing, uh, which is easier than a powder. The other and last part of this, which is really, really important, is daily sitting, almost training your body when to poop. So this is crucial. Um, sitting on the toilet after a meal. So either after breakfast, after dinner, um, when you eat, your bowels are already moving. So after you eat, they continue to move. So having your child sit on the toilet after eating, things are already moving. So use that to your advantage. Um, and this will help create a bowel movement and almost your body almost gets on a schedule where it's like, okay, it's time to poop. I poop every day after breakfast or I poop every day after dinner. I like those two times because at lunchtime, it's really not a great time to try and get your kid to sit on the potty and go poop. So most of these kids, as they get older, they're in school. There's not a lot of time to poop. Kids get anxious about pooping in school. So we don't really want to like train the body, I'd say, to start um, trying to poop at lunchtime. I think after breakfast, very common time after dinner as well. If you've got some snacks thrown in there, you can do that too. But those are just some suggestions. So have them sit on the potty about 15 to 20 minutes. They can take a book on there, whatever you want to do. Um, now, if they poop within five minutes, they can get off the potty, but otherwise just 
have them sit there for 15 to 20 minutes and see if we can start getting things to move out. So um, that is the end of my constipation series video. I hope these were very helpful for you. And if you have any questions, you can drop them below. Thanks. Bye.